Hello, my name is Patsy Smith. I'm a Tanarong woman um, and I'm here to talk about the yes vote and my reasons for wanting to vote yes and to encourage anyone out there who is thinking about how they should be voting um, to vote yes. The yes vote to me means that I personally and all Aboriginal people will be represented within the Constitution. The Constitution was developed many years ago with the thought that Aboriginal people were a dying race um, and they were left out on purpose by non-Aboriginal people making this decision. The decision is now in your hands with my brothers and sisters, my Aboriginal brothers and sisters, um, to actually right that wrong of, of politicians who developed the Constitution all those years ago. It's really important that Aboriginal people are not only recognised, but further supported in how they want to be it's really important that Aboriginal people are able to support other Aboriginal people, understanding what their needs, what their wants are, and how best to create the environments where we can grow and thrive. Hi, my name's Irene. I'm a Jawan woman from the Northern Territory. It's time to recognise the First Nation people of the country. We need our own democratically elected advisers independent of parliament. If people say why, you know, you've got politicians in parliament, that they've got a mandate for their own community. They're not talking just for Indigenous Month. This is an independent, democratically elected voice. I'm May Katona from the Murrumbul clan in Arnhem Land. I'm voting yes because I think it's not only good for the Aboriginal community but it's also good for the white community as well in Australia. It's a healing mechanism and it's a productive mechanism in that we're going to go ahead in our lifestyle. I vote yes. The voice is terribly important for our development, for our general Australian community and for the world to see that we are going to go ahead in our expression of supporting the Indigenous people in this country. I'm Kayla, I'm a Gurindji woman. Um, I've been living on Bunurung land most of my life now. The Voice is about recognising the 65,000 years of history that Australia has. It's also about allowing Aboriginal people to advise on the matters that affect them. Um, this is not about all those different things that politicians are putting in the, in the paper, the media is spinning. It's about giving Aboriginal people the right to advise on matters that affect them. Hi, I'm Deb. I'm the General Manager here at Nirmar Jambana. Also a strong, proud Gurindji woman from the Northern Territory. Nirmar Jambana Aboriginal Gathering Place is all about intervention, early intervention for our babies and about prevention. Uh, what happens with us is we get very frustrated because a lot of the money goes into when our community is in crisis and uh, that's too late. That's too late because already they've got chronic illnesses um, and it's just not fair. Uh, so um, we want to vote yes because we need a voice. We need to tell government, uh, we need to tell those people who make decisions on funding that they've got it all wrong and that they need to work with our families, our babies, strengthen our men. Um, and uh, that's, what, that's why we are passionate about voting yes at NERM. We do our work on a very small budget, 
and uh, we work with pregnant women all the way through to our elders. So uh, that's why we need to have a voice and we need you to vote yes.